going seventh. Good to see you again. I mean, how excited are you right now? You know, a couple of days away from finally being able to get back on the court the first time in yeah. your year, healthy and everything. Is What are your feelings? What are your emotions right now? Uh, just eager to get out there, man. Um, sitting out last year, having last year in with the COVID situation, just all the uncertainty leading up to this and finally have it set in stone Wednesday. It just feel great to have that game set. Let's go to Colin Taylor with the next one. Yes, yeah, seventh. I guess Frank talked a little bit um, a couple weeks ago about you guys defensively and just not knowing kind of where this stands. Where do you feel like this team is after being around them last year and now this year? Kind of where are you guys defensively and, and what Frank wants you guys to do? Um, I feel like all the guys are buying in. Um, I feel like last year was really young. So this year we got a lot of guys that's been through it, know what he wants, know how to play the defense he wants. So uh, we got a lot of older guys here to just um, lead by example. So I feel like we're in a good position as far as that. Let's go to Mike Yuvo with the next one. Seventh, we hear a, a lot of times from guys that either transfer in, just trying to figure out how to play for Frank. You know, how much does that help you in terms of being able to have that that year last year in terms of just being able to practice? And, you know, what is it what is it like playing for, for a Frank Martin team in comparison to some of the other coaches you've played in the past? Um, like you said, being able to sit out and just learn everything, learn the whole system, get used to the new coach, um, new coaching staff. It was great. And um, it was playing for Frank, man. He, he's a tough guy, but he, he got your back through it all and it makes it easy to play for a guy like that. Let's go to Joe, Joe Gorchow with the next one. Good morning, Seventh. Hope you're doing well. well. I guess afternoon now. You talked about eagerness to get out there and play. What's the secret to trying to manage that type of emotion and, and maybe anxiousness on your part to finally get out there and play a meaningful basketball game for the first time in more than a year? What's the secret to try to balance that and find success? Oh, um, like I say, just being ready when it's time. Like, it was so uncertain with everything COVID-related. We didn't know when this day was coming. So when it was set in stone, we just had it marked on our calendars. And it was – every day was getting closer to the 25th for us. So we're just happy it's finally here. <laughs> Michael and Anna. Hey, Seventh. Hope you're doing well. Um, Frank, Frank was talking a little bit about – how he feels this team is a little underappreciated uh, as far as uh, attention, as far as predictions, preseason finishes, things like that. Um, from what you learned about this team last year, from being able to watch and then obviously now being able to practice and participate and all of that, do you guys have that same sort of feeling? Do you guys feel like maybe you're underappreciated a little bit? Or do you guys think you might surprise some some college basketball fans this year with what you're able to do? Uh, me personally, I definitely feel like surprise a lot of people. Um... We're pretty much 15 guys deep here and all go out there and produce and play. So I don't think there's a lot of teams out there that can say that. So just on paper, we look great. We just got to turn into and produce on the court. Let's go to Mitch Brown. Some of you guys have already had one game affected um, by COVID, but now you start the season off with Liberty, a team that's won 30 games the last two seasons, been pretty much a tournament team for the past couple of years. Um, and then also you go to Houston, obviously you have one game sandwich in between uh, to be determined, but uh, starting off with all these quality tournament uh, team opponents, uh, how much does that uh, ignite you guys to just want to get out here and, and get some momentum started? Because obviously this season, everything's going to be uncertain and fluid. Yeah. Um, having those caliber games right off the bat, I feel like it's going to help us in the long run. Um, we can see what kind of team we got right away. Um, so just having that test right away, I feel like a do nothing but help us. And like you said, having those quality games, we know we can't have step it. So first, once the ball goes, we got to come out full force. So like it's a win-win in our situation. John Del Bianco. Hey, Seventh, you got to spectate Trey Hannibal's freshman year last year, you know, from from not being able to play, just, just watching him from the bench. What did you, what have you seen from him, you know, in his progression from his sophomore year to his, from his freshman year? Um. He's one of my favorite guards, actually, just being so strong at the point guard position, being having a body like he got, um, and still be able to – he's probably one of the quickest guards you got. Um, so just having an IQ like he has and a physical physique like he has is makes it that much harder just to guard him, man. He's, put, he's been putting in the work. He's been grinding. So I'm happy for him this year. I just want to see what he got for us. Do you guys have a past relationship prior to you coming to Columbia? Have you known each other? Um, yeah, I know he played for my um, same AU program as me, so yeah, I definitely know him. Colin Taylor? 
Yeah, seven things. Just how does how do you feel like the point guard competition has gone, and what have you seen from the guys that you've been working around every day, whether it's AJ, um, Jermaine, or, or TJ, or even like you said, Trey. Um, it's been a battle every day. Um, that point guard position has been one that's been tossed up, and just every day in practice we're competing against another guy that's want the same thing, but he's pushing us. He's AJ pushed me every day. TJ. Trey, Jermaine, they all push, we all push each other. So having that core group, um, like it just makes it that much easier just to go out there and compete. And have they kind of told you what your role is right now, or is that still kind of up in the air going into the season? Uh, still kind of up in the air. Hopefully, get that answer in a couple of days, but it's still up in the air right now. Let's go to Joe Gorchow. Seventh, how would you describe the makeup of this team personality wise? Uh, I kind of mentioned it earlier, I feel like we got 15 guys that can all step on the court and produce at any given time. So um, first word that comes to my own mind when I think about this team is just having a deep roster, really. But personality wise, how are you guys gelling? What would you say, like the cohesiveness of the group? How would you describe that? Um, everybody get along. Everybody get along great. Um, only got like two new guys, really one new guy now. So everybody's been around each other. Everybody, we vibe. Everybody's just looking to get better.